Yeah, I realize that video was very long, but I figure it's been like, you know, well, I was going to say it's been like at least a night, but it's been, yeah, quite a few nights, apparently. By the way, welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Shadows of New York. And the game just basically... Apparently it just jumped us ahead. A lot. Because it's like, I, I thought I was going to go into the whole... We're going to meet the Camarero. There's going to be other vampires. We're going to socialize. We're going to do other stuff. We're going to see if Prince Panhard still around. All that. But instead... It's more train, train. What? <laughs> I gotta get in that big beat burger. Premier sound. I thought we'd stop coming hell. Premier sound, premier smells, premier faces. Yeah, again, I recall that night when everything finally seems to change for the better. It's not like I wasn't expecting everything to go back to the old depressing normal. Even the think of it, the rational part of me recognized my stay as temporary. These eyes, I always hope it won't end. Maybe that an ego death will finally occur. It sounds like you're a stupid fucking bitch, I command you. There's all the logical evidence for why you should be satisfied. Here's the obvious direction for your life, and here's a detailed explanation how you should treat the people that care for you. No dice always fall back in the same old habits, it's like they will go deep in my DNA. The aimlessness, the powerlessness, the spiritual exhaustion, these goddamn fast food trips. Stupid fucking self loathing. Now I'm probably whenever I drink some of his blood. I should just blame it all on the misfortune of my birth. You do the social climb until you dissociate, and then you're just this untethered, constantly frustrated, bald, dumb desires. Except I'm so over mortal right now, and I need to figure out what to do next. Watch this obscure Asian movie once. And I was like, why are we watching Sunrise? Eli Eli Lima Sabatachi, starring Tadanubu Asano. One of the coolest guys in the world. He plays a Mesbo like figure, a legendary noise musician. This is a mysterious fire spreading around the world. <laughs> oh god. Gosh, in despair and mass suicides, so which CEO Grendor gets sick and longs to die, so he spends a fortune searching for the kill. Turns out it's on what it is. So is that how we're doing playing things? And his friend played by this violent this violent onsen Ginsha guy. Turns through Japan searching in the corpse strewn towns appears when a unique island that can produce beautiful sounds. Turns out the advent growed walls of noise they create are able to heal the infected. Zero begs the band to help. Over the mall of the money they want, but for some reason how he feels. So, uh, through a series of flashbacks, conscious and vignettes, a mystery unfolds. Fortunately, we live in a sand or music is not just a remedy. It's also a cause of the virus. Whenever we connect with people, they get this hunger for more s dream, more novel experiences. Eventually, they hell on, nothing can satisfy them off. They lose the will to live, not even the musicians or spells with the curse. They know the end will come sooner or later. You are saved by a mind blowing concert, but the tragedy is merely postponed. Now, for the last drop of Jesus, like a son, or silently considering his role as savior and destroyer, is stayed with me. One of the film is abrasive, there's no narrative cohesion. Some wheel cartoons, creative choices, the Japanese noise soundtrack, the very free form and hard to understand weave of themes. That's point movies like this are all that are truly connect with me. Well, now we get into it. Now, the New York City representatives of the Samba Clan now, also known as the Night Clan, their master shadows who cast a sword, pledges to make modern tech go haywire in the presence. Now we get into Clan La Sombra. That's just the Night Clan. Old Kendrick calls the magisters, abyss mystics, or turncoats. They want to drive home the fact that many La Sombra switch sweat sets in, many, in recent years. The way Kevin told the story, we used to be the brains behind the Savant, a pretty nasty group working in opposition to the Camaro. This since left for the Middle East for the most part, but a sizable chunk of my clan opted out and changed sides. 
Jeshua and we were entrenched in the Catholic Church back in Europe, not for mystical reasons. Our path was that coercion and puppetry so far in the streets and foreign religious leaders, which is a means to end the Night Clan. There was a borderline to await Darwinian in their old philosophy about embracing new members. The shortest period of my life was fully orchestrated by Karen in order to see if I was a good or somber material. They do not account for losers who just might take it lying down. Then there was the dark. I'm still coming to grips with it, but apparently shadows aren't just absences of light to us. They open us into some kind of hell and we can wield them or we could use them to contact the dead. The downside we show a class of vampire feature. In that we don't really have clear refractions, there was a, the source of transfer to not having a well of cameras and by extension having issues with dealing with technology in general. So that's a thing. So apparently most of the somber switch sides, that's bullshit, but okay, fine, whatever. Freaking fifth generation bullshit. When I first entered in a version 5 of the stupid masquerade. Actually, a few months before I was embraced in the summer, I had joined with the Cameroon. Apparently, it was last month, last year even. Uh, the biggest and most traditional set. A group of vampires tied not by lineage but by ideology. The two most notable examples are the Anarchs and the Cameroon. Unsurprisingly, these two are also in dread <coughs> opposition and drifting further apart all the time. But what about the Sabbat? You mentioned the Sabbat, but now you don't mention the Sabbat. The two groups actually used to fight each other, or at least found some intel that made them reconsider their strategy, so they sent diplomat missions to parlay with their historical enemies. I was going to say, well, you know, there's the whole Callahan and Prince Banhart thing, manipulating both sides, but... The deal with the guy in Chicago was simple. On life for an on life, for every Lissamba vampire allowed in life, you tell one Lissamba vampire has to meet their ultimate end. Well, that's fun. Do you remember the name of the woman who met her final death? So I can begin my own life, her name was Hesterita, one enemy of the camera, a girl of who spent decades opposing them. Bounce, by the way, the final death, death of a woman. Mortis is defined as the total cessation of all biological fun activities. The vampires being a dead face two moments of dying. The first when the mortal life ends, and the second final one when they truly cease to exist. You should first rapid decomp decomposition of the body up to including turning to dust if you're old enough. As if time is finally caught up with you. Isn't it ash, not dust, but okay. No name for the camera are usually used in a less official, occasionally derogatory context. Just some of the four bad principles of mine from what I've gathered, well, oh, she was her execution by my sire, so to convince the New York City elite to give us a somber chance. Then they set out to look for a mutually agreed upon candidate who'd become the clan's rep in the city, which apparently is us. My sire's just for someone who gave the impression she was more than she appeared at the local chorus looking for someone they could walk all over. After long negotiations, they decided I was a good compromise. <laughs> well, that's not good, sadly great. Proposed to systematically destroy. Proceed to systematically destroy my entire life just to make me show I was psychologically strong enough to join their ranks. The turn code special, they called it. Somehow I succeeded. Oh, the court. A kindred hierarchy of rule, basically feudalism by no name. You have a prince at the top, primitive beneath him, or her. A chef who also answers to the prince, and so on. Matters are under the secret sanctuaries called Elysiums. And the structure applies at the city level, beyond that the camera is organizing it absurdly Byzantine. And eventually let me right back to where I started. Ah, I stopped writing and put my pen down. Oh, snap, you're here. Yeah, you're here, I remember you. You're very, you were from, uh... D'Angelo's side stuff. But I couldn't finish D'Angelo's side stuff because I ran out of time, apparently. 
Well, that'd be all. Yes, Mr. Stivo, I hope you enjoy your stay in London. I feel much doubt I will. Just like every cultured person, I think the only good Englishman is a dead Englishman. Mm, that's be nice driving the world and all that. <laughs> eh, carcass. Caracas. Mogadishu. Shanghai. But it tastes the same anywhere you go. The biggest difference is that you do become more of a hassle. Mr. Vow, every word you heard tonight just made you more punchable. Ah, uh, that will be all. The crater, I said hello and farewell. Safe travels. Don't let the door hit you on the way out, psycho. Ah, well. I'm the level in the summer in this town with my rep whose senatory role mo means jack shit. No title, no perks, no whatever. Right now, I'm the courts go for doing all sorts of work. Nobody else will touch. My main duty is being a sort of Immigration officer. See, New York is probably the biggest vampire travel hub in the USA, and definitely the biggest one on the East Coast. Almost every country arriving from Africa and Europe comes through here. Local camera is not about bureaucracy and population control, so every vampire leaving or arriving in this town is supposed to check with me to inform me about the travels. Yay. Well, in theory at least, the VIPs fly by different roads. They take care of this stuff through your connections and servants. But for the small fish, I'm like a vampire statue of liberty, the first bloodsucker every can who comes to New York City should see on paper anyway. On paper anyway. Yeah. Somehow I don't think everyone's coming to see us. The first half of the Prince of Quator, the Primitive Council. Things very yeah, I'm naturally a, I'm naturally traders the somber, so they still prefer being traditional and talking about these things. By the way, the prince. The prince is fire. Oh, my. Where well, the buck stops? The big boss were given to main user city. These are the kindreds you don't want to cross. Those who have secured and held the claim against all of the contenders. The prince is a gender neutral title for vampires since New York City's head honcho, Helene Panhard, also calls herself that. The prince is a fire, she's usually elders, though. Most of the younger. So called Anselor. I forgot. I completely forgot Anselor was a thing. It's, uh. I think it's the thing between, like, after Neonate. It would be like Anselor, then Elder. I can't remember exactly. I think it was in Redemption. We represent the interests of the local candidate to Dishy. Each major clan faction or set would be given a place on the council. This framework naturally favors the camera. Though anyone can bring grievances to a primitive not of their own clan. No fear of rules governing who can become a primitive, but recent decades have seen the old paradigm paradigms rapidly shifting locally. Prince Panhard has the council suffice often. But I was thinking that she mostly used the primitive to confirm a course of action she's already made up a, a mind of about. Besides the fact she's seeing Callahan on the side with that whole blood bond shit. But that's no longer our that's not really our concern. Our concern is apparently, you know, being population control. Just saying seeing who comes in, seeing who goes out. Okay, I can work with that. Then at the end of the day I'm just a go for all this work on you seriously remind me I'm not quite in, just standing at the gate. I mean, give me an office. I just meet everyone in public places, such as coffee shops or a hey, or fast food restaurant. Tim considers this an insult and laughs out at me, but luckily most of them understand we're in the same boat. Only here because our, we are curs who need to be reminded of our place from time to time. So you my last couple line is 15 minutes late, and I still have more errands to run tonight. This is getting irritating. Ross actually just finds some self-respect and leave. But I want my shortcut by me left me with a stupid sense of responsibility. Ten more minutes pass. Make sure I'm from any woman passed by the door. She tells somebody to stand by the door and walk in. Why well, aren't you sus? Mm-hmm. Very sus.
on Chestnut Hill by stuck in our late teens by the little look of it. Thanks for scarf covering most of her face and we get closed in a fight walk. Can you guess Finn through a torridor? Sitting over just head front in front to me. Try my best not to let my impatience show she obliges. Oh, you're here to check in. I am Julia Sawinski, I presume. Scans around with like we're at a circus. Cars. Ah, uh, yes, at least in the cars for vampires are a designated peaceful place. We go to see res result as solution. Often in plain sight and notable public buildings are used by immortals such as bureau, museums, art galleries, and landmark government. Offices and New York pretty different when spread as the current Elysium is a cavern in Queens called the Art Hall. Well, in Bloodlines, there was basically any place where a powerful vampire was. Not so much a gathering place, just any place that a powerful vampire has control over, so. Though apparently, it was just basically an excuse to make areas non combat in Bloodlines. Okay, it's Mercurial's place. This is an Elysium. Why? He's not a vampire. But guess what? We're still making it, so you can't fight or use your powers in hell. Even though there's a lot uh, chest that has a VHS in it that you need to get. And you can't use blood buffs to be able to get through the chest. But fun times. I only mind if I make it quick. I'm needing an elusive name. Way a fucking minute. It can't be. That name. Catherine Wise. I know that name. Uh, I know that name. I know. I thought she Lord sus as fuck. Cause here's the thing. Name that name. Okay, so here's the thing. Can you guess who she is? Can you? Can you guess who she is? That name. So here's the thing. She's basically Ekaterina the Wise. I know, right? Cor oh, what reason I know this is because I've looked her up before and I know that name. Because you remember Ekaterina the Wise, the Bruja. Philosoph the blue Bruja philosophist of the Prometheans. Yeah, it's like I'm looking this up and... Huh. Oh yeah, I think Sturbridge was actually an important person. <laughs> and I gave her that voice. Whoops. Yeah. Apparently she was actually important. One of those more important characters. And I gave her that voice. even have like all the talents and uh, all the stuff. Wow, that's a thing. I 
Like, totally. I think stupid. Can't wait I did that. Oh well. But yeah, Catherine is the wife. Yeah, there's, you know, there's stuff with Beckett and Kristoff and all that upper. I probably spoiled myself a bit though. Maybe just a lot. Probably shouldn't have read up that much on her. But yeah, she's a brew hog. Take a look at myself. Celebrity two, potence two, presence three. God, that sucks. Oh, later she has. Ooh, jeez. Celebrity dominate four to obfuscate. Artibration, potence, presence, vicissitude. Vicissitude. Isn't that the Trimitsu thing? Oh yeah, because she stored um. Uh, Diabolizing people too. Yeah, so she's actually what generation now? Ah, oh, she's seven because you know I'm throwing a higher. Lovely, lovely. And yes, Vesetitude is the Dramitsi thing. Lovely. How do you think with the ability to do that, she could have fixed her whole face thing that she has going on? Well, this there is definitely a surprise, though. Sorry for taking all the time to read about her, but you know, fucking Catherine and the Wise and my Vampire the Masquerade Shadow of the Night. Like the last time we saw her in Redemption, she basically said, told us not to go piss off the Tamitsi. Like we want, don't go bother the Tamitsi, you arrogant, stupid boy. <laughs> I forbid it. And then Christoph went and borrowed the Jamitsu. I guess later she sent uh, Wilhelm to go help us and they joined the Sabbat because, you know, survival and didn't want to side with the Jamil and all that. Or the Ventru. By the way, yeah, Catherine, wheeze, wise. Yeah, you. I've never heard that name before. Someone else's description for across my mind. We're a lady who owns the auto, but is never there. Weird. There it is here, Captain Wise, the owner of the auto. Wait, she owns the auto? She's out of headquarters in New York City camera. Wait, 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 what? <laughs> but she's a bot. Unless she's not a bot. What the fuck? <laughs> What's that, Jerry? What are you doing? Call me a weird right off the bat. I know you only made a fool of yourself in front of enough VIPs in the city to recover. No, it's just that I still don't know many people there, so I have to go by the description I'll get by members of the Primogen. The description is mostly correct, outside the one word that slightly perpetuates me. Paco and the Kid of Black, sounds like. Oh, for my good, it's just that your interests are rumored to be uh, not fully aligned to the town of Rivers. It irks and pokes up them. I mean, she is a sabbat. She's non-people. She's broken a lot of the Camarillo traditions. Camarillo does not... Well, it does not publicly like the whole idea of vampires diabolizing each other. It's a sabbat thing, after all. I keep it the least of is not enough for some I see. I suspect as much. What can you do? She seems chill. Good. Here we are, Catherine Weeze. Wow. 
That's what we just about. You often have choking, right? Forgive my indiscretions, just that people who statue you usually don't bother checking with me. They should report their arrival to one of the perimeter and then they make all the arrangements. Her friends found her busy with the preparations for a big party. I assume that if I spared her some paperwork, she'd appreciate it as a gesture of goodwill. Besides watching me the infamous of the Zomba representative of our show curiosity, my interest peaked once I heard about her. Of course it did. Go and your some bad times. She looks around, knowingly. Unique circumstances. Yes, uh, Prince Helene Panhard had trouble justifying that. So rent my property would need. That's every penny needs for her. As far as I know, she's been sitting on an empty property since last year. Looks like they've got after you bet. That's why I assume for not to get confirmation. I was telling my client has ever been particularly popular in these parts, at least that's what I've heard, sitting at the farms and so on. Yeah, it's just to make sure you've never met Hester, but you know of her. Do you know I won't be here if I'm not for her? Have you two met? I only heard of once or twice. We had similar outlooks on many of our issues. Similar outlooks? You mean so hot? Though we tend to come up with completely different solutions. So hot solutions. In any case, I think it's meaningful that Hester died to leave the web. They failed her. Now they fail you. That's why they're keeping you down. Anyone who's not VIP said this to me? I'd laugh in that face. I care what she's doing, she's trying to buy my favors. Best not to act like a meeting, please. Stick to business. And time for tell in the meantime, I need you to help me out with my documentation. Of course. So where are you coming from? Washington, D.C. She says a pot. Okay, here's the thing. I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh, so you could... <laughs> Oh, so you could say that she's wearing that because, you know, it's 2000 train. But no, if she's a Catherine the Wise, I know exactly why she's wearing that. But here's the thing, if she's coming from Washington, D.C., Washington, D.C., back in bloodlines, was a clear Sabbat territory. Now, yeah, that's a good question. I don't know what with the rules and all this changes and stuff and the year and who knows who owns who holds Russia to DC these years. She says the way people in Hollywood po would say it. But it suggests that Russia doing is wildly different from the Russia that you and I would see. So what were you doing now? Take a guess. Government work. Write that down. Got to amuse Helene a little bit. If you say so, day and hour for right. Tits up plane ticket and slides it towards me. Don't feel. When I am caught, I'm a transit plane, purpose of visit. Wait, how could you go through a plane? Well, no, I can understand. Well, it depends how. It depends how long the flight actually takes. Because, you know, the whole. If it's. Sunlight and all that. Daylight, yeah. Maybe I missed the rest of that. Uh, purpose of visit me with Prince? That works just fine. I guess that's my duration visit. And if I right in six months if you really need to. Place of accommodation, conditions of intent stay. The art whole condition should be adequate. Tell me I need to be happy with LP and P, home sweet home. I'm certainly aware of a particular home now. And then it's two of us. Curious. Do you have nothing holding you here? And that face of a blonde haired friend appears in my mind's eye, then vanishes. Oh god, do we still keep our contacts? Oh god, we probably still kept our contacts. We're not supposed to do that. Quite just gonna appear and house out and have a meet down so things can end officially. Nothing holding me anyway. I see. For a long time, she stares through my eyes when I return the stare. She's telling me to nerve me, but I do my best not to turn away. She's using her philosopher talents. Eventually, she smiles. She smiles. How can you tell she smiles? 
Did you say you were short on time? Oh god, yes, Kreider will kill me. He will, he will probably indeed kill me. He'll be willing to collect my stuff from underneath the table. Send me for my page of visit, you'll understand. And I'll pass it on to everyone who should be in the know. By the way, you need anything else? I'm fine, I was about to ask you that myself. You're the one asking questions, too. And that's all from me. Good, we will see each other soon, I hope. The party tomorrow night? Uh, I wasn't invited. Gives me a pitying look. I understand, well, if not, given the opportunity, we should make our own. I'll be in touch. Night, Miss Weiss. I wish you a pleasant stay. Night, and don't rush these things. You've got your whole own life ahead of you. And you're in a position where you can take it easy. Take your time. Get a different perspective. Get a different perspective. She's trying to lure me to this spot. I'm on to you. And I walk slowly out the door when I lose sight of the restaurant. I sprint towards the subway. Slow night. Oh, Crater, you got a suit. And you changed to hell. Crater got a different outfit and changed his hell. That's a thing. I wish you're late again, by the way. I hope you have a good excuse. Crater hours, um, the mighty sheriff of New York City. That happened to me. No wonder. I meet him in front of Elysium 30 minutes later than the time we agreed on, Pawn. The sheriff is a point officer who enforces the Princess Edith at the Crater Quarter Quater. Is a major real stick in the mud. Sheriff hunts down traitors and violators of traditions. One of the greatest offenders were typically apprehended and brought back to be judged in front of a simple court. That is the case of Sheriff Assets, Judge, Jury, and Execution. Yeah, we're okay, from fucking weeds decided to arrive faster when you like. Likely story, she's supposed to be out of the city. I think I put your light, but feel free to check my report. Pass him all the official papers the way I do every night. Where he stares me down for a good few seconds, then a steely gay softens. You're serious. Wayne well, McDonald with the mask and elk and clothes, surrounded by the smell of French fries and hamburger patties. That must have been one hell of a sight. Technically, it's PVP, not McDonald's. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sure McDonald's office is pro product placement, but yeah, God, I made such a fool. Ma God, I made such a fool of myself. First I did, I quote somebody calling her a weirdo and I wanted to die on the spot. So if you're right, you walking fuck's boss. I'm trying to teach you to control your tongue. If you never learn, it's a new gaff every week with you. So yeah, those good news and bad news. The good news is, Captain has a fondness for vampires of humble beginnings. Yeah, like a certain crusader friend. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Probably why she decided to see you and you, or shall we say, natural habitat. And those rich art scene assholes who seek out working class cred. <laughs> I did say something about watching your tongue. The bad news is she is very astute. She can recognize a moron like you straight away. You never stood a chance at impressing her. Oh, shut up. You still need me for anything, hell? Okay, I'll stay away. I wouldn't be staying out here chatting with you if I hadn't taken care of my duties. Their minutes is all took to finish preparations for the big party. I'm about to see everyone off. Uh, sorry. Gonna be helped, I suppose. It's more your loss than mine. Just wanted some company tonight. And you could really use a chance to appear on official duties so everyone can get to know your face. Heaven knows your fast food job isn't going to get you anywhere. You need to, what do they call it? Hustle. And you don't need to tell me that, but it's not like being prat Traded around for a bunch of blood blue douchebags is. Someone managed to give me a painful nudge in the back without so much as a hint of visible movement. Language, you fool. They're coming out. Just stand here in silence for five minutes and focus on not embarrassing yourself any further with you. God, the first two servers appear on the door with the auto, an old man in a wheelchair, pushed forward by his young servant. Haven't seen either of them before. Yeah, I don't remember you two. I don't think. Mr. Payne, the night is still young. I hope you find the rest of it pleasant. Payne, the wheelchair I've heard about him. 
Edison Payne, one of the American cameras, main connections to the government at Wall Street, disabled in quite a few ways. Needs a servant to communicate. Before resentment fell, I was embraced in this condition, but apparently, Payne is nothing but grateful for his immortality. Keeps writing further defenses of the traditions and camera, camera road customs. Do I want to say anything? Night, Mr. Payne. Well, this is your creator's hand, but does you endanger knowledge me? At least the servant gives me a small bow. I return it. They leave. We return to the next person leaving. I reach in. Can't wait to see you in your outfit. Oh, God. <laughs> I should do this. But I'm totally going to do it. Like a spell me shower off these fancy dress parties cost me enough suffering with your help. I can only hope you haven't conspired with Helene to embarrass me with this gift. <laughs> She's an important character. We should give her that voice. This point to a sh shrink wrap set of clothes she's carrying inside her coat. Crater smirks briefly. I didn't have her if she won't know. Prince Panho displays a considerable foresight in the matter of party planning. Yes, if there's one thing she's definitely serious about, it's frivolities. Recognizably mortal qualities, especially for a prince. We have to celebrate, not oppose it. Don't worry, Shelf, I'm the big girl who knows her etiquette. I will play your game. Miss the crowd a little bit and return to my study as fast as possible. Oh god. Oh god, they're just tossing everything. <laughs> I should serve a high region of the Chantry of the Five Boroughs, the hero of the Battle of New York. The biggest warlock in town could be a princess out if she didn't have her eyes on a bigger prize. Okay, so basically, Clan Tremel, named after the 8th century hermetic mage who follows for a brief period, terrorized the world. The members of the Clan Tremel today are only able to practice their reality bending to thaumaturgic arts after consuming fresh blood. This because the Tremel have always wound up their relentless pursuit of immortality and were condemned. They recently fallen into a great schism of uh, competing houses, all vying for the title of rightful heir to their namesake's legacy. Although that real ancient artifact life and nicknames include warlocks and mad hematids or transgressors. Gentry with a Jamil hang out, a lot of crusty books and smoking beakers type of place, I imagine. The regent, the principals, uh, the principals of the schoolhouses of the Jamil. What's our chantries? Every chantry has a regent who oversees the education for Jamil and attendance. The regents may also hold positions on the Primogen Council and be active in the clan's strategic defenses. Wait, we didn't get Warlock in now, did we? Unless you mean clan. I guess they meant clan to a male. I was like, wait, there's no Warlock in now. The thing is, nobody knows what the prize is. They only know it has something to do with the goal for thaumaturgical research. But we'll try to find out what it is found violently. Oh, I'm sure you're going to have fun, Miss Sawinski. You'll just inform me Catherine Wise is back in town. It's safe to assume she would join our festivities. You're like kidding me. It's not safe to assume it's soon. She told me she would be here tomorrow night. Wise, excellent. I have to catch up with her. The very concealed venom in her voice clearly suggests that in fact she'd hate to catch up with her. <laughs> it looks like tomorrow night would be very special, but for now I bid you adieu. And she's gone. Some kind of story between Isen and Wise that I should be aware of. You could say that. Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, here's some of the stuff I was reading. You could say that High Regent Sturbridge once attempted to call for a blood hunt on Wise. Wow, why? There are five different versions of the story, and all of them seem plausible. Capsulation with the city is odd, to say the least, but hush for now. Also, by the way, blood hunt, a punishment sentencing a vampire to final death at the fangs of the pierce. Go to the kindred and the sister for a punishing transgression. The law of retaliation. I was trying to kill the conversation in the appearance of Tom. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and the appearance of Thomas R. True gives him a perfect way out. Oh, no, not you. Mr. R. Uh, 
How is son? Keeping up the good work, eh? Of course. Thomas Ortorio, an architect by trade, he's a herald, a member of Prince Van Hort's inner circle, eccentric who thought seemed to be ten times faster than his words. I thought you said herald. <laughs> but apparently a harpy. Kindred gossip master is thrown now. Or trade the wisdom for favors or political gain while Harpy or original is. And so someone are taking the term back. And we're just a badge of pride. After all, who doesn't need a friend who has the dirt on everyone? See, that says Harold Bell. Good night, Mr. Archer. Uh, yes, yes. He just burst into the night. Well, that was brief. I understand the way that might, might force him to properly acknowledge my assistance. <sighs> severely underestimate their dedication to ignoring whelps like you. Whelp. How much different than the archaic human usage? Whelp is now. is how you refer to your kid when the fucking off. Uh, Crater loves to use it to put me down from time to time. Just in case you're serious, I beg if you don't. I need to ask you for a while now, but... Never had the opportunity. You really hate Arturo's guts, don't you? Gelfing Majors is different from my response. I have no strong feelings about Thomas Arturo whatsoever. Now we're concerned you're always listing posters about every local camera episode under the moon. Might as well go to account. <laughs> Language well, but I swear to her, I will show my opinion about him as soon as I come up with one that sticks for more than a week. Who can okay, emerge from the art car rushing towards the street? Where a noble looking woman stops and snatches us, she's wearing a hijab. Curiously enough, doesn't hide her help beneath it. Fremington. You ever notice that you quickly notice the colossus was mostly to cover up her horrifying scars? Samara, we remember Samara, don't we? Crater, oh, and young Julian. Maybe that's not to stay because Samara's one of the few New York City camera figures who hasn't been an answer to me yet. So, here, yeah. did the prince require the clan of the hunt? Gangrows. No, not Gangrows. The Banu Hakim. Coming out of to the path, but that's basically slur at this point. I'm still going to call the fucking clan Asimites. Our new addition to the camera are only having joined a few years ago. Before that, they were independent from both the cam and the Anarchs. And from the Sabbat, because we're not mentioning the Sabbat for some fucking reason, and that pisses me off. And they were used as staff for hire, supposedly to be very good at the job, too. Now, the it looks to me like they've rebranded themselves as keepers of the law, which still gives them the occasional chance to hunt somebody down. But no longer for payment of blood, as used to be the tradition. Or at least not overly. But remember the clan I know well, Samira, is pretty cagey about the aspect of the Banu Hakim. But I've learned over from a few other sources that members of the clan have a bit of a drinking problem. Once they taste no kidney's blood, they find it hard to stop. The incursion in the camera seem to have stirred some disconnect among the Tremors. The lawmen also use the form of blood sorcery to boost their berries and observe different rituals. Some of them clearly religiously motivated, owned in no small part to the fact that the clan has been traditionally tied to Islam in the Middle East in general. Yeah, I remember, we remember one of them. Pink, or I can't remember his full name, who basically was trying to get us, our, uh, Kristoff and them off the trail by having them go after Clan Giovanni for... Which technically also led to finding out about stuff about food or lack, but at the same time, it also didn't. Anyway, then the prince required the clan of the Hans Council in some matter. Yes, I find you that no matter how hard she tries, she shouldn't expect me to wear a different costume tomorrow night. She's the man who we went over that. The Vanu Hakim Primogen, just like the Lissamba, the clan was independent from the camera. Yeah, independent. The Lissamba was not independent. We were... They were part of the spot for F-sites. 
Well, the Cameron Terra Railroad only recently, however, they negotiate better deals than we did. They have a primogen for one. However, for the matter of use, the family who pretty much to the practice of justice, the rules must be upheld, and every transgression punished. They don't have much say in New York City, but the prince often sees their judgment as just good PR. Trust you was understanding those are our beautiful clothes. Thank you so much, I'm eager to see the outfit you came up with. And how are you, Julia? Have you seen any lights at the end of the tunnel? Eh, same out, same out, same out. Still wandering in the dark, bumping my shin every two steps. Eh, sorry to hear that I trust you the prince. Is it to improve your standing? It's, uh, it's a process. Oh, Julia, Julia. I won't achieve anything if you don't keep reaching for it. Why won't you support the teacher the ropes? Trying to premature both this child, it's always a process. I right, wish you good luck then. Good night, Julia. Good night, Crater. Night. Have a safe trip. Don't know how to be empty by now. You like your don't you? Stop with your class clown hat. Well, but only seriously reveal deep insecurities. <laughs> wow, that's harsh. It's natural will. Were I as harsh as you claim. She deserves both to call her some error, but you're still keeping your distance with that primogen. Primogen shit. Watch your profanity, and don't project your fantasies onto me. I'll give you a list about professional boundaries, but as I spit, the way you eventually learn it will be extremely unpleasant. The fuck are you? <laughs> Hello, am I interrupting something? Good folks. Even though I'm constantly pestering and Crater's composure is unshaken, so it's come swift and unfazed. No, no, Mr. Vander Wyden. Wyden. Vander Wild. Head back to your office. Oh, you know me, my dear chef. Where else would I go? And that's curious, even though Carter Vander Wyden is a privilege as well. Oh god, my okay, if it's precise. Do you want to quite address him as such? Hope to see you tomorrow night. Oh, I will absolutely show up, provided I can, but just in case, I already apologize for not making it to the Prince. Simply drowning work these days. The rhymes, tempo, and inner. Inter intonation patterns of his voice are so familiar. Half of it sounds like. JFK, now for half is exactly like Barack Obama. Oh god. Just like his parents' parents are all so fake. His old mind, of course, comes from a long line Dutch merchants who originally settled in New York region. Prince of Wiley's successful law office, perhaps several leads, both kindred and kind. Kind, by the way, a derogatory way for vampires to refer to mortals comes from kindred and kind. Just remember that kind rhymes for swine, and you'll get the picture. Clan Mel Cave in the Clan of the Moon has earned its reputation as a place for total psychopaths, yet there's a twisted kind of reason to the madness of the children of Mel Cave. So I wonder if I'm a, am I just going to sit here and deal with, like, every clan? I doubt it. I really doubt it. <sighs> the conditions seem to stem from gazing to deviate the web. Could I just let go of the world from learning too much, seeing too much, feeling too much? Blood is how they self-medicate. All my okay have a mental breakdown following their embrace. Often, this is it's so it's celebration of disorder or disorders. They're always present, but sometimes it's entirely new. Best described as unstable. Don't tell when a malcave and snap or drop some unexpected why unexpectedly wise insight. Code oracles, gestures, and visionaries if you're being nice, madmen, libraries, and lunatics if you're not. <sighs> Lots of reading. Seems perfect in every way, and that's why he's so unnerving. He's a child of Malkai, but must be blind to some affliction, but whatever it is, he doesn't let it show. I don't wonder what he's hiding. Celebrations are planned to last all week. Surely you'll find the time. I pray I will, my good man. I pray I will, in case you need it. Need to reach me? You know where uh, to find me. Have a good one. Never imagine my present. I think I made him sound too much like uh, the voice I did for Arturio. Oh. 
Thomas. Yes. I don't remember my presents before I leave. Sometimes I think they thought I'm still hoping I'll simply go away. The car drives away and he's never seen. Crater shakes his head. You want to hear about which member of the New York City's camera I dislike the most? Yes. She's very knowing glance and smirks. Too bad they're all my dear colleagues and I deeply respect every single one of them. Sure you do. I want to blur out something that could lock you on Mr. Vanden Wyden's legal services, would you? You ask, Hester. And you expect to uh, find myself in need of good defense to try with my broken competent and foul mouth assistant finally pushed me over the edge. Rude, you still need me help. I still need to swing by St. Patrick's tonight. Don't worry, we're almost done. The prince is coming out. Captain is the last person to leave her ship, huh? And there she is, Helene Panhart, the big kahuna, as someone I once knew would call her. The de facto ruler of New York City and a self professed patron of the arts. Quite a, a penny for your thoughts. She'd be pleased to hear the high region is resigned to her fate. My prince, Mr. Vander White, is decidedly not. I suspect he would be too busy to join the festivities all the week, though. Answer that. She turns to me. Mr. Winsky, would you suppose to come here a good show for his duty tonight? There was an unexpected change of plans. Captain Wise is back in the city. Well, Catherine is here, and that's a welcome surprise. What does that have to do with you, Miss Owensky? She says she didn't want to trouble you with all the paper going awry for Prince Panhard. The offer taken care of Crater has already been informed of everything. Uh, it's certainly a nice show, but wait a minute. Now, where's that? Did you meet her? Oh, God. <laughs> We're going to get judged. In a fast food restaurant, my friends. I see. Helene rubs her eyes. Catherine loved her proletarian amusement, I suppose. It would be a source for amusing antidotes this week. If we want to avoid these situations in the future, it might be a good time to discuss offering Miss Winsky an office of her own. Eh, we'll get to it eventually. No more pressing matters at hand. The fest will start tomorrow, and there's still so much to be done. We can make sure the art horse is kept before leaving. Certainly, my prince. Have a good night. And good night, Quaidor. Good night, Miss Sawinski. We'll talk about your work soon. Don't worry. Of course, good night, Prince Panhard. Chauffeur gets her escort to a limo. Not concerns between me and Quaidor until the car disappears around the corner. More pressing matters, huh? Pay for your thoughts, Sheriff? Ah. Uh, I'm certain an image of the keeper of the Elysium stuck at a fast food restaurant will linger in Prince Panhard's mind. Far closer to go than you were a few minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, uh, that that doesn't exactly present the best damage to welcoming vampires to <laughs> New York. First, sure I've heard you say something that I've had a few times now. I stand by my words. For almost a bit in a day, Julia. Cameron Lurish, don't you think it sucks that the Ivory Tower is so hell? They aren't showing disrespect to my clan. They're actually willing to make fools of themselves in the process. We are to endure our own hazing measures, but yes, the current situation is not ideal. I offer you need a hand closing up the Elysium. Oh man, it's getting late. Better run. Some shadow in Chicago is probably impatient to get a copy of the report you've given me. Please one master, now it's time to please the other. You have to think about working for two masters, neither of them really thinks of you as their own. Not knowing how to reply, Crater shrugs. I wave to him goodbye and head for the subway. When I reach St. Patrick's Cathedral, I'm greeted by a voice that grates on me like teeth on tinfoil. Oh, fuck, it's you. <laughs> Down Benoit, you and your whole religion thing. I can't remember the voice I gave you. Well, 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 the project, oh, daughter, returns. Oh my god, no. It's the one thing I didn't want to happen. Julia, please, thou should not take the loot. Name of the Lord thy God in vain. Uh huh, where's her father, Leonard? These clergy duties keep him from getting here on time. Send me to apologize in his name and keep you company for a few minutes. This is the second thing you ought to apologize for. This wants his plot to live in unity, I am more than willing to oblige him. Why won't you? Last time I'm not part of his flock, we have a fairly professional arrangement. 
I know you see it that way. The Night Clan stand and see it stick close to the Catholic Church as the greatest virtue, but still they consider this relationship fairly instrumental. That's why we need caterers like you to bring this spiritual change to your clan. To make them understand God's precious gifts, the closer they get to the light, the greater their shadows would become. And we're visiting Sephiroth Serenizing. The night to go here was a local nut job and an answer artist, a gen degenerate who had some sort of complete mental breakdown in the 90s who got returned to religion for someone's guidance. By the way, he's also a clan torador. Most artists of the kind of the torador draw the ranks from the creative class, strategy firm, painters to digital content creators. The clan of the road posts many former famous actors, singers, writers, dancers, and even lawn and sets workers. It goes, of course, only to fear the total of the the best of the best, but it's shallow. Fitzation, you from Beauty has caused many hasty decisions. Probably more one hit wonders under the roof than they care to admit. Which are plenty of insufferable demons and influencers. Crater's one of them, but surprisingly, he doesn't show many of the regular traits. Maybe other than keeping himself impeccably slick at all times. First, he proclaimed his reign as. To devote the rest of his unlike to study Nodism. After a few years, though, he changed his mind and joined the Catholic Church instead. By the way, Nodism, the religious priests and studies pertain to the origins of Kindred and the myth of Cain, the alleged OG vampire. As the awkward habit he is. Neferite Zeal found a major target of me when I first met him. I was stupid enough to tell him I was raised Catholic and still identified as such somewhat. Immediately pictured me as some sort of force for change within the camera. So to put me back on the righteous path. Now he won't stop preaching to me apparently until I become a nun. Remember the darkest places directly beneath the candle. You two and cover the unfortunate preaching suspicion to find salvation within your grasp. The lose your way in the shadows. Because once he starts, he just won't stop. Starting to bring out the big guns. Why was me dance? Got any news about Sophie Langley? Painful grimace crosses his face, but doesn't linger. I never to change the subject, you know. I'm just looking for a topic both sides of this conversation with Kel about. You know, like any other guide on etiquette says you should. Sufficient is a topic close to everyone's heart. Oh, they admit you're not in this pretty boat of you to see why I still care about Langley. I assume I'm certain you do. The secretary retired from the public life. You start acting like Jesus Arakane. And start acting like Jesus is King Arakane. Coincidence? I've never had a Jesus error. Do people really call it that? Here's how it's going to work. Tell me what you know and I'll tell you what they say. And keep in mind, I don't know. I didn't know she was just silent until a few nights ago. Well, shit. <laughs> we probably could have learned this if we actually pursued his side quest in Coterie South New York, but we didn't. You know, she was a side to her needs nights ago. Hell, we haven't even met her. And we're not going to meet her. What's the bad me saying, hell, but let's go. Sure, I figure you would have heard that part of that world long ago if you knew, but what do you care anyway? I let you draw on about your torment pass and let you carry on for good missionary stick. Imagine curious curiosity wants to join us, always a journalist. Scratch his head then say was a sad mockery of a mockery of a chuckle. Fine then I'll do my best to make it short, just like you said so free Langry. Every New York's kindred's beloved socialite words for my sire. First man sometime after World War II. Left France right before the Nazis went around the Mackinac. Line, I struggle to keep my siblings alive with my art. Watch my brother die during the flu epidemic of 43. I was close to losing my mind. That's when she showed up, said the sheer torment. My words caught her eye. She became my patron, loved my challenge of fortune, supported me financially. Eventually, she embraced me. As well, I came to my artistic interests started to naturally deviate from what they used to be back when I was a poor mortal upstart trying to see the world the way her social circle does and that she couldn't forgive instead of being a fun novelty I became just an old part of the malady surrounding her she grew distant and stopped seeing me altogether I had my show meltdowns because of this I won't deny that I locked myself out of my many career opportunities but it was an important lesson don't trust your elders can't person them 
Psychological as well. If they take interest in you, they won't stop until they suck you so dry and then discard you like a broken toy. Well, yeah, the hold you hot thing. Anyway. Here's the entrance of my life will net you this big kindred milestone. An elder is only considered an elder after the outlasting his or a fellow vampire for roughly 200 years. But then they get, have learned the rules of the great metagame of Jihad. The fast hidden war where you trade just between that and each other, dead elders or the chess masters, the rest of us are only the pieces, yada yada. So, yeah, if you think about it, Kristoff was definitely over, uh. Well, definitely over Elder Milestone, because he did get, you know, sort of locked in torpor for over, th for like a thousand years, after all. Oh, so we keep going? This fair is going to be a long one, apparently. The first time since I've known Mr. Gale registered me as something other than a Bible thumping nuisance. This is compassionate, I feel. Do I decide to relate well, How dreadful. First, we should teach you trying to let sympathy. Have you heard about my dramatic answer from Lotus? Or maybe he's just uh, alluding to the way my sire let me here to fend for myself. It is only God who would never lead you astray. That's why I find you so frustrating, Julia. You're so close to getting it, but you chose sin instead. There's a penance going out, almost had me fooled. Let's get back on track. Oh, well, Langley's disappearance from the city. Back was the road to perdition. Wherever she ended up, I doubt she's too happy about it. She had plans to search of the city. Wanted to make it her ultimate artwork. She was always the vain one. And of course, you're completely sure you have nothing to do with her disappearance. Please don't tell me you're getting in what I think you're getting in. Chris says you've been acting like you're trying to be pinned for something ever since you're still vanishing at. And you've got a little motive, of course, of getting at what you think I'm getting at. Bennett shakes his head. You already have the devil in your heart, Julia, always testing me. This guy asks me what everyone's thinking. Are they now? Listen, I've been married with a lot of things. I was attached by name in the city. Those are ones that lead compatible with the image of a ruthless Kara. Kara, huh? Now that's interesting. I haven't said anything about Karen. He's got his hands on her forehead and glanced himself a bit before responding. Stop picking apart every word I say <laughs> in this completely unpleasant way. Here's a statement if you really want one. Miss Hercoporia. Please help me the way I knew her. As met her. If she's still walking this earth, she wouldn't come back here with the same pride for her aristocrat. She just trying to go to spiritual rebirth. So I remind you of her place. Former friends talking for in hushed voices. And that's her play toy of her weren't messy, no more camera or party. She's done for her. Whatever to her, I don't know. I swear she's the son of Santa's. I had nothing to do with it. Perhaps I'm still here and she's not. It's not a reason to gloat. But to be more humble, I always see the sign from God. Tell me to read them in all the unfortunate ways I still resemble Sophie Langley. I listened, I reached to the pride I showed of her, I renowned my vows to God. We committed to preaching his greatness, I mean this is why we're having this conversation in the first place. He just keeps droning on and on, doesn't he? And I want to thank her Langley's influence on my life, I'm grateful because she was a sign that got me here. And if God wills it, maybe one day you'll look at her the same way, Julia. I should know whenever he circles back to his this preaching too much time to intervene. Alright, alright, alright. If it makes you feel any better, I think the only way of complaining you could have hurt her was by boring her to death with Bible quotes. Now then, quid pro quo, tit for tat, you were saying people still talk about me. I was curious if. Look who's finally here. It's time for time to work. Father Leonard rushes in her direction, carrying a photo of Duckman's on his arm. So much the ones I came for. Father Leonard? Ah, uh, he's not the same old guy that had, you know, the faith protection that burnt. Remember that? That was a thing. Christ be praised, Julia. Yesterday I was told this is how priests greet the petitioners in Eastern Europe. Forever and ever, amen. Naturally, I think we said each other's lines. Never mind, I don't want a long night. It's not taking toll on you. Ah, no need to worry. These days I sleep a few hours a day, short naps to take care of the rest, and there's always work to be done. I apologize for being late. I think I managed to get here before you and Ben went for free throws. So it's good I was getting worried. Oh, who do you take me for, Father? Take you for a turtle boat, though, whose power is a fat red. 
Confirming people are said a documentary about p pedophilia in the Catholic Church. It's just too kind to say it out loud. Ouch. Hear what I have to do with Father, but don't worry. We'll make a saint of her yet. A good saint for now. Let's have an adult in the room. Pastor regrets so much. Excuse me? Asking for a daughter room. Not solving problems, abdicating responsibility. Joey, you know exactly what I mean, so please don't get smart with me. Not telling my mother, maybe. Daughter in the room, Joey. Oh, I'm asking for help. <laughs> if your photos came of him and I passed him the reports I wrote earlier tonight. Mon Kinder is common knowledge that the Catholic Church is one of the Sombra's greatest assets. Hell, it might even be one of the main reasons the camera is slowly warming up to the clan. We are technologically impaled and as such will be un. We failed to face the challenges of communicating in the 21st century, hard to handle, advanced. Christian, we came and unlock a smartphone. Through the Vatican connections into the picture, wherever priests scattered all around the world exchange, or dispatches between each other, making sure they all reach their destinations in total secrecy. Told not everyone in the Holy See friendly to our kind. Well, no shit. The most shrewd and talented you usually are, you could say, though, like a mortal camera, better than any intelligence agency. What happened to John Paul? I will we attempted to uncover the workings of the Institute for the Works of Religion, death for 33 days of papacy, which of CIA and Masonic involvement. Not that Father Leonard, Le Leonard has anything to do with any of this. For a Catholic priest, he's alright. Probably made me stay a believer of failure as long as I did, had I known him as a teenager. And his intelligent kind, helpful towards his partitioners. Treats the superiors with a healthy dose of skepticism and is not involved in any sort of political church games. Well, it's not beyond helping me contact my bosses in Chicago every night or so. Every other night or so. He knows how the candidate knows about the second and the Christian. He opted to avoid the latter, in order to keep the former from an impression. Because according to him, of him, it's the right thing to do. By the way, the second great decision. The philosophy of the war and terror applied to us kindred. Somewhere along the way. Some deep state asked us to decide the way to handle the assistance of vampires, which are treated as terrorists. And the agents waging these operations against us often have no idea what the hell is going on because some inter-agency collaboration. Great to hunt us doesn't tell anyone anything unless it's need to know. Among Kendra, the term is most often abbreviated to SI. Now there's got to be something wrong with him. Some um, selfish motivation, maybe, and I haven't noted it down yet, but I it doesn't feel like he's making an effort to hide it, so I'm giving him a pass. By the way, I hope you don't mind. I finally took the liberty of asking how your parents are doing. Thank you, Father, but you shouldn't have. No problem, priest at St. Stanislas Koska's good friend. Says your parents will start showing up every Sunday again, front row, so your father's looking better and better. Makes me feel nothing, but I still give him a token nod and a grateful smile. Thank you, Father Lawrence. Now, excuse me, the sunrise is almost now. Yes, be careful. May God bless you. Surprise, the faith isn't, you know, setting me on fire. Because remember the whole faith thing when, uh, we went there and we went to the other priest and it was like, oh God. <laughs> Literally, oh God. But anyway, amen, goodbye, Julia, I'll let you off the hook this time, but next time you won't be so lucky, alright? Julia, just one more thing on my never-ending list of events I'm not looking forward to. Guess it's time to call it tonight. This fair has been going on forever, after all. Well, I'm home. Oh. Snap. Well, we'll get into that next time. Because, you know, we're a vampire living with a mortal. Unless we make her into a ghoul, I don't really see how this is going to end well. And even if we do make her her ghoul, uh, her or ghoul, I don't see how this is going to end well. <laughs> but anyway. So I hope you all enjoyed, thank you all, and have a nice day, or night, or whatever. Till next time.